Uh, the reason being, I know they're struggling hitting right now, and they pretty much for the entire season they've struggled offensively. However, I love Logan Gilbert, and right now he's in excellent form. You look over his last five starts, guys, a 151 ERA and 063 whip, averaging a tad over seven innings pitch per start. Who averages over seven innings pitch per start these days over a five-star period? Uh, not many guys. Uh, so Dean Kramer gets a start for the Baltimore Orioles. Um, first start since uh, May the 12th. And uh, his last two starts prior to going on to DL, not very good. Eight earned runs, nine and a third innings pitched, uh, 10 hits, seven walks. Uh, and, you know, he made three starts at AAA Norfolk, Teddy, and he wasn't very good. Eight innings pitched, eight and two-thirds innings pitched to be specific, an 11.42 ERA and a 219 whip uh, with allowing four home runs in eight and two thirds. And, uh, you know, I'm listening to Scott Rickenbach talk, and he talked about a pitcher coming off the DL, making rehab starts at AAA, and that guy coming on strong in his last two starts. Uh, I'm not seeing it here with uh, Dean Kramer. And uh, despite last night's loss, by Seattle. They've now lost three in a row at home, but they're still 24 and nine in their last 33 at home. I like their bullpen is solid. Uh, Baltimore top notch team right now. As a matter of fact, I mean, uh, you'd be hard pressed to not say they're the best team in the American League, but based on this starting pitching matchup and the cheap number I'm getting with uh, Logan Gilbert, I'm going to lay the 115 with Seattle over the Baltimore Orioles to you, Teddy. Well, here's the question. I mean, Seattle can't hit. I mean, it's, yeah, well, I, it's, it's very, it doesn't matter what their starting pitching is. This is a team that scored three runs or last nine of their last 12 games. And the, uh, they had a four run game and a five run game. So it's, you know, they had one outburst against Miami, uh, where they scored nine runs, but in their last dozen games, it's been strikeout runners left on base, you know, pop-ups. I mean, uh, it doesn't matter. You can, you can throw zeros all night if you can't hit. You can't hit. What do we do about the Mariners' offense in this game? Do we worry at all that? Uh, I, I believe uh, I mentioned. I believe I mentioned that they haven't hit for the majority of the season, and I'm fully aware of that. And in respect to your question, uh, again, I'm looking at if they can't hit a guy like Dean Kramer, there's a definite issue here. And I'm just not. Again, yeah, they could throw up zeros all night long. If they can't hit, it means nothing. Um, and the case was a uh, case in point last night. Uh, however, I, I just think they're catching a starting pitcher at the right time here. And uh, I, I like the fact that, um, look, see, Baltimore's uh, red hot right now. They're in first place in the AL East, and they're an underdog here in this spot. There's a reason why. And I fully expect uh, the Mariners to be able to put up just enough offense against a starting pitcher it struggled before he went on to DL and struggled in his rehab start. Yeah. So that's the reason why I'm going with that uh, Seattle minus 150. Ross, what do you have to promote? I got a 5% top plate tonight going, folks. 21 and 9 um, since February 4th with my 5% top plays. That's good for 70%. And uh, tonight it's uh, another top play in Major League Baseball in the game. Uh, between the Blue Jays and the Astros. So jump on board, folks. Um, you know, when I isolate a 5% top play, I've proven that uh, I hit at a very high win percentage, and I fully expect uh, this game to be a, a winner in, in easy fashion as well.